Alright everybody, so today one of the things that we're going to be looking at and working on is expanding the size of our turbo housing uh, holes to match these new 10 millimeter studs that were provided by Kraken. Um, just to kind of give you a quick little view, this is the uh, brand new on the market Kraken cast manifold. Uh, uses the uh, NI resist type uh, metal which uh, you know from what I've researched and uh, you know been told is that it's the same quality metal that uh, a lot of the OEM manufacturers use on their cars when they want their uh, you know their factory setups to last a long time so uh, fit and finish on this guy um, can't necessarily tell you fit just yet but the finish on it you can tell that you know the person who makes these, he really puts his time into it. Like, if you look at here, like, this is one of the examples, right? So you always have flashing whenever you have, like, a, you know, a cast object, cast metal. Like, this looks like, it's like the same depth uh, as far as, like, how much it sticks out across the manifold. It's not all uneven, you know, and that's on both sides, and that's going along the side here. Um... Any additional flashing, like, inside the manifold, it looks like that's been gone through. He's he's already kind of cleaned that out and cleaned that up on the innards. So, <clears throat> overall, my experience uh, with the Kraken manifold has been very positive. Uh, responsiveness was good, um, you know, in terms of any questions and things of that nature. And it just looks and feels like a, a quality piece. And it's, it's, it's heavy, in a lightweight. So, the one thing, uh, you know, that I, you know, recognized is going with 10 millimeter studs, we've got slightly smaller holes on this GT28R turbo. So, <clears throat> what we're going to have to do is, obviously, we're going to have to expand the holes. Um, yes, you know, you could go a little bit crazy and maybe have these, the, the top a portion of these turned down to 8 millimeter, and you know leave the bases as 10s but eh, we're not going to go that route because overall if it's a bigger diameter stud in theory it'll be able to hold more pressure to keep these, these guys from from uh, basically snapping so one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, digital micrometer um, our digital caliber I, I love these things um, absolutely rely on them no matter you know what I'm doing whether it be you know fabricating a custom part or you know measuring you know to replace a body panel anything like that you just it's hard to get more precise and they're affordable too you know it's they, they usually for quality ones like this they don't really ask an outrageous price so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm just kinda gonna get a overall diameter of these studs basically what we're working with here it looks like as I go through if I'm able to kind of move it a little bit cleanly I'd say like 9.8 millimeters is what we're working with here now on this uh, turbo manifold I noticed um, that it looks like these holes were opened up a tiny bit but in an oblong fashion. Um, this turbo, it looks practically new, but uh, I bought it uh, used and uh, recently rebuilt. So my guess is that they may have had a slight issue with you know the turbo manifold that they had it on the car beforehand. So let's take a look-see. So 9.8, so that'll actually just pass. 9.8 here as well. 9.8. So basically, the oblongness uh, that you know was kind of you know put into this guy, that is just about the same diameter as as these studs here. So we're very close. We're just gonna have to open that up a little bit. Now with you know it being cast, um, you know. It, you don't want to take any chances of destroying this guy, you know, using too big of a bit, too small of a bit. 
We do want to give a little bit of relief area though for, you know, as the metal expands. Um, not necessarily here because it would open the, the gap, but if, you know, there's heat expansion in the studs themselves, you know, um, I would say because the threads are fairly thin, they might be subject to expanding as, you know, as a result of heat because the metal is so thin, it can heat up that much quicker. So, um, I'm going to be, uh, trying to use something ideal, hopefully, from this, uh, Milwaukee set, um, these are the uh, cobalt drill bits that they have. Um, I actually haven't had a chance to use them yet. I've kind of been saving them for really extreme projects versus, you know, just using my regular, like, uh, titanium nitride bits or anything of that sort. So I'm going to take, let's take a 5 16 out just to see where we're working with in comparison. That guy's going to be a little bit on the small side. And, you know, the other thing that I do so that way I can kind of be more precise. Like I, I may, you know, stage this in different increments if I have them. But, uh, you know, you can actually measure the base of the drill bit and get an idea. So that guy was like around 8 mil. So going from a 5 16 to a 3 ace, that looks damn close. Um, so we're going we're gonna to measure that guy. That looks to be about 9.6, which is close, really, really close. So what I might be able to do, this is what I'm thinking, first step is safely go into this hole, which you can see how like just the, the tip of the drill actually... Um, you know, makes it pass a little bit, but it can't get the full the full diameter of this guy. So, uh, what we're gonna do is drill everything out with this guy because this seems like a pretty safe bet to start with. And then, uh, if I do need an additional size, I mean, my only size in this kit is going to a half inch, and that's gonna be probably way too big. So, um, I'm gonna use a burr bit. And then I'll be able to measure with a caliper my my diameter because I'll try, kind of just go around it a little bit while holding the gear in to give it a little bit of pressure. And I'm gonna see, you know, also with test fit, you know, test fitting a stud uh, bear in the hand and kind of, um, you know, seeing if it has enough room. And then also testing it on and off the manifold itself, just mocking it up to see if I have uh, the right diameter. So that's gonna be this little project, and uh, you know. Uh, I'm sure some, you know, some other people may be, uh, you know, needed to do this on their turbo because uh, it's usually 8 or 10 millimeter uh, is the two common sizes from what I've seen. And, you know, if you want to go with a larger diameter stud for the strength, you know, it may be worth drilling it out. But, you know, you also have to factor in having enough meat in the metal here. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um... You know, I'm not really going to show the uh, the part as far as, you know, drilling because uh, I it's the hole's already there. You're kind of just, send, you know, sending a pass through on it. So um, that would be the most boring video ever. <laughs> Here I go, drilling a straight hole. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. And, uh, you know, I'll uh, try to respond. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.